Eko de de asikoi. Hello everyone, welcome to ispeakyorubatu.com. This is your one-stop place for everything Yoruba language. Thank you for learning Yoruba language with I Speak Yoruba Too. Eka boye yomi. Welcome everyone. My name is Enyola and you're listening to I Speak Yoruba Too. In this lesson, I will be introducing you to another very versatile expression that is commonly used in Yoruba language. You would hear it a lot used in conversations. The word I am introducing you to is la ti. La ti. La ti. La ti is a word that has a common usage in Yoruba language. You would hear it in day-to-day conversations. And like many other Yoruba expressions, lati performs many different functions in sentences when it is used in different contexts. You have actually learned one of its usages in level 2, lesson 19. If you don't remember, go back and check. <laughs> okay, but today we will be looking at another three specific meaning and uses of the word lati in this lesson. Lati is a derivative word, like many other Yoruba words. <laughs> lati is derived from the words ni and ati. Ni and ati. Do these words sound familiar? <laughs> you have learned about them in previous lesson. Ni has a lot of meanings and one of which is at. Ni means at. And ati is commonly known as and. And this and that. And. But it also means plus. So the root word meaning for lati is at plus. Ni ati at plus. <laughs> As I always mention in previous lessons that a lot of contraction is done in Yoruba language, especially when speaking. Whenever ni is placed before a word that starts with a vowel, it automatically becomes the letter li. So ni becomes li and then joins together with ati to become lati. Okay, lati. Broken down is ni ati, but contracted is lati. Now, let's see the three ways that lati is commonly used in Yoruba language. First, lati means from, from. Using lati as from in Yoruba is a little bit tricky. From is used in many different ways in English. So, from doesn't always mean lati in Yoruba. I will try my best to keep it as simple as possible. I will explain it as simple as possible for you so that you can understand it well. Okay. Lati meaning from. Okay. From can be used to express time span or time period. Look at this example. Idonwo. Idon wo. Idon wo means exam or test. Ashe idon wo. Lati agome jodi agome wa. Ashe idon wo. Lati agome jodi agome wa. We did exam from 8 o'clock to 10 o'clock. Here, Lati is telling a time that something happened from so 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 time to so 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 time. I say you don't want lati a go me jodi a go me wa. We did exam from eight o'clock to ten o'clock. Another example. O sun lati a ro dale. O sun lati a ro dale. Osun lata aro dale. He slept from morning till night. Again, lati is telling us what happened between a time period. Somebody slept from morning until night. 
Dale is a contraction of the word di alle. Di in the context of this sentence mean until or till and alle means night. Osun lati aro dale. He slept from morning until night. Lati meaning from can also be used to express distance. For example, Ba wo lo she jinosi lati le wale. Ba wo lo she jinosi lati ile wale. Ba wo lo she jinosi lati le wale. How far is it from Wale's house? Ba wo lo she jino means how far is it from lati ile wale wale's house how far is it from wale's house ba wo lo she jino si lati ile wale another example e wo lati okan e wo lati okan e wo lati okan watch from a distance okan means distance Ewo lati okon, watch from a distance. Alright, lati meaning from can as well be used to express location. For example, mo wo bo si lati o shodi lo si ikeja. Mo wo bo si lati o shodi lo si ikeja. Mo wo bo si lati o shodi lo si ikeja. I took a bus from Oshodi to Ikeja. The literal translation of this sentence is a bit funny because wo generally means to wear, like muwasho, I wore a cloth. But it also means to board, to enter, or to transit. So if you only know wo as the wear, this sentence will come across to you as I wear a bus. Mo wo bossy. <laughs> but wo in this sentence means to transit. Mo wo bossy lati oshodi lasi ikeja. I took a bus from oshodi to ikeja. So you're transiting from oshodi to ikeja. Ikeja is the capital city of Lagos State, Nigeria, and Oshodi is a bit close to Ikeja. I said earlier that Lati doesn't always mean from. Look at these two sentences. Wonwa Lati Ilewa. Wonwa Lati Ilewa. Wonwa Lati Ilewa means they came from our house. Okay, now look at the second sentence. Ile wa ni wanti wa. Ile wa ni wanti wa. Ile wa ni wanti wa also mean they came from our house. Okay, these two sentences translate to they came from our house, which is the right way to say it, but the meanings are actually different. Let's see why. The first sentence Wawalati ilewa has a meaning that has to do with a starting point of a location where a journey begins or where a journey starts from. So they came from point A to point B. That is what the sentence Wawalati ilewa means. Their journey began at our house. Our house is where they started coming from. Okay. Another example is they came from school. They are coming from school. Mwalati lewe, mwalati lewa. They are coming from our house. They came from our house. That is the meaning of the first sentence. Now look at the second sentence. Ilewa ni wantiwa. This sentence has a meaning of something to do with origin. For example, I am Yoruba. I came from a Yoruba land. So this sentence. Ile wa ni wanti wa has the meaning of origin, like they live in a house, they exist in a house. Ile wa ni wanti wa. Let me give you another example. I don't know where it came from. I don't know where it came from. 
In this sentence, you cannot use lati even though the word from is in the sentence because again, from in this sentence is used in the context of origin. I don't know where it came from. Will be miomobito tiwa. Do you understand the difference between the sentences now? Mwawalati ilewa. They are coming from our house. They came from our house. Our house is just a starting point from where the journey begins. So they're going to somewhere and they came from our house. And the second sentence, ilewa ni wotiwa. Well, they exist with us. They are my family. They are living in our house. So they came from our house. I hope my explanation on that is clear. As I said before, let's keep this simple for now. And as you advance in your learning, you will understand more. Okay? Now you know how to use lati meaning from to express time span, distance, and location. Good. Let's look at the second meaning and use of lati. Lati means since. Since in English can be used as a preposition, as a conjunction, as well as an adverb. Lati also perform similar functions in Yoruba. Let's see how it's used in these sample sentences. Wo ti soro lati ano. Wo o ti soro lati ano. Wo ti soro lati ano. They haven't spoken since yesterday. Lati here is working as a preposition. Okay? Let's see one more example on this. Ati fera lati o shuketa. Ati n fera lati o shuketa. Ati n fera lati o shuketa. We have already been dating since March. Fera means to date. And Oshiketa is match. Atin fera lati Oshiketa. We have already been dating since March. Let's see lati used as a conjunction. Inu mi dun si lati bati muti debi. Inu mi dun si lati bati muti debi. Inu mi dun si lati bati muti debi. I am happier since I have been here. Lati in this sentence is joining I am happier together with I have been here. So I am happier since I have been here. Inumi dun si lati bati muti de ibi. One more example. Ko jeun lati bati wanti lo. Ko jeun lati bati wanti lo. She didn't eat since they left. That is how to use lati as a conjunction. Now let's see it used as an adverb. They ran away and we didn't see them since. Ki lo shele si yin lati ba yin? Ki lo shele si yin lati ba yin? Ki lo shele si yin lati ba yin? What happened to you since then? This is how to use lati as an adverb. One more thing to take note of is when lati meaning since is used as a conjunction or an adverb, it make a reference to time. That is why it's always used with iba. Iba means time. If you follow up the sample sentences we've made, iba came next to lati. Kilo shele si lati iba. Yeah. What happened to you since then? So lati iba. Kojeun lati iba ti wanti lo. She didn't eat since they left. Lati iba. Okay, take note of that. That is how you use it when it means since, used as an adverb or a conjunction. All right, let's look at the third meaning and use of lati in this lesson. Lati means 
two, but this is only used for two purposes, okay? Lati, meaning two, can only be used for two purposes, and they are expressing preference in connection to verb. When you express your preference, but it has to do with a verb, and it can be used to express reasons. Let's see it used in some sample sentences. Mo feron latisun. Mo feron latisun. Mo feron latisun. I like to sleep. E wo ni e ma fe latise. E wo ni e ma fe latise. E wo ni e ma fe latise. Which would you prefer to do? Notice that in these sample sentences, lati is used to express a preferred action. So the focus is on the use of verbs. Let me show you the difference of what I mean with this sentence. I prefer tea to coffee. I prefer tea to coffee. Although this sentence is also about an expression of preference, but lati cannot be used in this sentence because there is no action being performed on the preferred noun, which is ti. You cannot say, mo ferro ti, lati coffee. That would be wrong. Absolutely wrong. Now, let's add some action to the noun and see the difference. I prefer drinking tea to coffee. I prefer drinking tea to coffee. In this sentence now, there is an action being performed and that action is drinking. Now we use lati. Mo ferro lati mu ti ju coffee lo. Okay? Mo ferro lati mu ti ju coffee lo. I prefer drinking tea to coffee. I hope you can see the difference and I hope the explanation is clearer now. I prefer tea to coffee. No, you cannot use lati. I prefer drinking tea to coffee. Yes, you can use lati because there is a verb, an action that is going on with the noun. Okay, let's see lati meaning to use to express a reason. Mo shi ferese lati je ki orun wole. Mo shi ferese lati je ki orun wole. Mo shi ferese lati je ki orun wole. I opened the window to let the sun in. In this sentence, the window was opened. But why? The reason is because they want the sun to come in. Mo shi ferese. Why? Lati jeki orun wole. Okay? Here, lati is expressing a reason something was done. Ferise means window. Orun means sun. And wole means to enter. Mo shi ferise. Lati jeki orun wole. I opened the window to let the sun in. Hey, yummy. <laughs> You've learned a lot today, haven't you? You have really tried. Let's do a quick review of the use of lati. Lati can mean from, which is used to express time span, distance, and location. Lati can also mean since, which can be used as a preposition, a conjunction, and as an adverb. And lastly, lati means to, which can be used to express preferences in connection to verbs and to express reasons. Thank you so much for listening to this lesson and that's it from Enyala today. See you all again soon. Good job.